today we're going to start learning how to tell the time using just the hour hand on an analog clock. In our next video we'll also look at the minute hand. First we're going to look at o'clock times then we're going to look at half past. If we look at the clock we can see it has two hands. The short red hand is the hour hand and the long blue hand is the minute hand. For this video we're only going to focus on the hour hand which is the short hand. If we look at the clock we can see the numbers 1 to 12. These are the hours. We used to see in number lines all the time in maths and although this is wrong it's really just like a number line. I've made a clock with the numbers 1 to 12 and I've also made an hour hand. Before we look at the hours in a circle, we're going to look at them on a number line. On a clock, the arrows are called hands. This arrow is representing the hour hand, so I'm going to call it a hand, not an arrow. When the hand points to a number, it tells us how many hours it is. If I stick my hand so it is pointing at five hours, we call this time five o'clock. If I move the hand so it is pointing at 9. This tells us it is 9 o'clock. Once the arrow reaches 12 o'clock, it doesn't then carry on to 13. It goes back to 1. This is why our clock needs to be round and not in a, on a straight line. If we look at the hours, in a circle, we can see how reading the hour hand for a circle is no different to reading a straight number line. We can see if I point the hand at the 7, it is 7 o'clock. And if I point the hand at 3, it is 3 o'clock. We're going to look at what happens to the hour hand when it's half past the hour. If we look at my number line, the hand is pointing halfway between the 2 and the 3. On a normal number line, we would say that it is half 2 and a half. But when it is on a clock, we say that is, it is half past 2, which means it is halfway between the 2 and 3 o'clock. We can look at this on a clock and it is exactly the same. The hand is halfway between 2 and 3, so although we can't see the minute hand, we know it must be half past 2. If we look at a few more, here the hand is halfway between the 9 and 10, so it must be showing half past 9. And here it is between the 11 and 12. So it must be showing half past 11. Let's look at those on a clock. When the hour hand is halfway between the 9 and 10, this must be half past 9. And when the hand is halfway between the 11 and 12, it must be half past 11. Why don't you make some numbers and a clock hand and have a go yourself on a straight number line or with numbers in a circle. I hope you all found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!